Good morning. Today we're looking at example two out of section 7.6, the normal distribution, an extended numeric example out of business calculus with Excel. Once again, we're looking at the area under a bell curve. The height of women follows a bell curve. The normal, the function we've used before, if I convert it to Z scores, I get a nicer looking function to deal with. And that nicer looking function has an area of one. In all of these problems, it's the same Riemann sum problem with a different starting and ending point and some interpretations. This time, instead of looking at tall men, I'm going to look at short women in the area. There are 500,000 women in the area. Their average height is 5 foot 4. The standard deviation is 2.75 inches. I'm interested in women that are shorter than 5 foot tall. If I do this in Z scores, I'm going from minus infinity to minus 4 inches divided by 2.75. Notice that the area up to 0 is 0.5, and then subtract the area from 0 to minus 4.75. If I look at my setup for the problem, this looks almost character for character the same as I did in example 1. You'll notice I've got my ends, my midpoint in terms of standard deviation, f of the midpoint, the rectangular area and the sum area, those are character for character, the same thing I did in the previous example. Also, I have population, subintervals, lower and upper bounds. have converted the lower and upper bounds into z-scores, del x and del x in terms of standard deviations. The, offs the area is in terms of offset. The one difference I have is I'm assuming for this problem that zero to minus infinity to zero is taken care of and so I'm going to add 0.5 to my answer. That in the previous example I had just found the area and converted it to population. In this example instead I'm going to find the adjusted area and then convert the adjusted area to population. And so this problem is very similar to the one we did. 64 inches is the new mean. The standard deviation is 0.75. I'm going from 64 down to 60 because I'm remembering that everything from minus infinity up to 64 was taken care of in my adjustment. That's the 0.5 value. So therefore, 64 down to 60 plus 0.5 is everything from 0 to 60. When I show my, unshow my formulas, I see that I have a population of 500,000 my mean and standard deviation, I'm going from 0 to minus 1.4545 standard deviations. The area under there is going to be a negative area. So it's minus 0.42. When I adjust the area, I find my adjusted area is now about 7%, which means I have a little more than 3,600 women of the 500,000 are less than five feet tall. So what's worth noting is the problem setup is entirely the same as we had done in the previous problem. I'm finding area under a normal curve. The difference is rather than find between two points, I found the area from minus infinity to zero and then from zero to my starting point so that I could do an infinite accumulation. 